Man, this will be nice. Everybody can see, you know, the renovated house. All this stuff down here. <sighs> bro, family did everything, bro. And this is my sister-in-law now. Sister-in-law and my sister. It's their favorite saying, bro. Be legendary, bro. You got to. 22. It was a sports family. My mom ran track. My dad was a sports guy. He coached us all growing up. So it was either football, baseball, basketball, track. Like every weekend, we was out doing something. And that just made it fun. <laughs> Growing up with brothers and trying to be, you know, paving our own path, um, the number was like, okay, that's kind of like, in football terms, that's like your identity. So my oldest brother, Justin, started off wearing 26. Thought it was a cold number, 26. He was a running back. Tyler wore 22. My number was always seven. Grew up wearing number seven. Always call it my lucky number. I'm not gonna be 26, because my older brother was 26. Like, I don't want you to be like, oh, that's my number. But I know, in my mind, I was like, I ain't wearing none of y'all numbers, so. Mine was always seven. Back in 2015, my older brother got sick. Um, didn't know what it was, sick for two weeks, and ended up going to the hospital where the next day um, had a heart attack and passed away. I just remember my dad coming home, bringing us to the hospital, telling us the news, and it was just like the whole world stopped. Going through high school, um, I still feel like there's a few black spots and stuff where I wasn't fully there. I locked a lot of emotions away. Wanted to be this strong person for my mom, for my family. My mom and my dad named us JTJTJ. You know, Justin, Tyler, Jules, Trent, Jared. And so Tyler was the only other T. When he passed away, I was like, okay, dang, I'm down to my only T. You know, like I gotta hold it down for the family. Things got real crazy about junior, senior year when things started, you know, start to get into where I'm gonna go and it was deciding between Washington and Stanford. I think Washington for me was just the place I felt most home. I committed, you know, a few, few weeks go by, started to get adjusted to things and coaches texting me, yo, what number you want? And I was like, oh, I want, I think I said four. I know I said seven. I said 21 and got to Washington. I'm like, oh, I'll bet, you know, first time in the locker room. Got the Husky on the, on the walls, purple everywhere. I'm like, it's dope. Walking around, trying to find my locker. And I remember I looked up, saw McDuffie. I'm like, boom, there I am, right next to it. It's at 22. And I was like, whoa. I was like, first off. I never asked for 22, never worn 22. That was not a number that even crossed my mind. And that was my older brother Tyler's number throughout high school and junior All-American. And when I seen that 22, I'll never forget, I took a picture, first thing I do, took a picture, sent it to my family, I was like, look at this. I feel like I made the right choice, like the stars are aligned. And every single one of them was like, yeah, this, this is the green light that you are where you're supposed to be. With the 21st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Trent McDuffie, defensive back, Washington. Uh, hey Trent, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic now. Good. Are you excited to be a Kansas City Chief? Yes, sir. The first thing they text you know, like what number you want? And I remember knowing they had somebody had 22. And so I picked 21 based off of getting drafted and stuff. I remember I got here and I never brought, I never brought it up once. Never talked to one about it, nothing. And then he left and one of the first things he said was, yeah, you can have 22 now. I was like, oh really? He's like, you could have asked me. I was like, Juan, you are lying to me, bro. I know you would have made me pay for it. He's like, you would have. I was like, that's why I didn't ask, bro. I was cool with it, but it feels good to be back in it. I set out this year with the goal in mind to just create turnovers to make game-changing plays and so far so good takes it quick bubble to the right side and the Chiefs will balls out the ball's out and free and picked up by the Chiefs at the left sideline and the ball gets popped out 
on a hard hit. Back to the original script. He lost the ball. Still loose. Kansas City's got it. Willie Day. Fred McDuffie forced it. Day recovered it. And the Chiefs are going crazy. Coming into this year, I think that was something that the defense was like, okay, how are we going to change this narrative? Like, how are we going to impact the Chiefs organization even more? And that's playing great defense and getting the ball back to 15 because 15 has won us a ton of games and he's not perfect. He's human. Let's go get one. Let's go. 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 And so when he's not having his day, I just hope Pat can look over to the defense and be like, y'all got me. We'd be like, yeah, Pat, we got you, fam. We gonna get you that ball back. Go ahead and do you.